Anything you want to talk about? Having saved his people from the danger, all other pelicans now looked up to him and proclaimed him king. But his eyes were sad, and his heart was heavy. For the fight for the freedom of all pelicans had just begun. He vowed to keep his people safe. He flew to the highest rock and looked down to the throng of pelicans that were his people. There were millions upon millions in a sea of birds. Behind them the last remnants of the battle. Countless pelicans had given their lives in the fight against the humans. The field still stained with their blood. The pelican that was now king, pointed to the horizon. And started to speak. This is only the first wave, he said. They will come in the numbers of hundreds, or thousands. Perhaps millions. They will come with their machines and there. King Pelican didn't finish his sentence. The shadow of the human machines looming in the sky fell over them. Bombs fell from openings at their belly. He did not even have to tell his people to attack. A throng of millions of pelicans flew up towards the human flying machines. Thousands of them died, clinging to the falling bombs in an attempt to slow them down, so they could save the children and nests below. It seemed a hopeless battle. But King Pelican knew they would win. By the grace of the great pelican god himself. The sky colored black as the throng of birds flew up in defense. Thousands of his people were dying as they fought the hellish machines. Vulnerable and unprotected bird flesh against metal machines from hell. The humans were shooting fire from strange metal weapons. But the pelicans had their numbers. Millions upon millions flew up to join the battle. And King Pelican himself flew up, straight towards the human flagship. But his people would not let him approach. They needed him safe. Hundreds of them stopped him, begging to stay safe, as millions others threw themselves onto the flagship. And when they finally penetrated its hull, the pelicans showed no mercy to the few humans inside. With zeal and fervor they devoured their enemy. And one by one the human ships started to fall from the sky, each one representing the sacrifice of thousands of pelicans. And when the battle was over, King Pelican did not have to rally his people or defend his home ever again. And from that day on, everyone knew the might, of the great pelican people, and their king.